Hey, 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 I'm back again. And today we're gonna to be talking about Obscurium. I'm DJ Ad McCree. So Karate Chop that like button because a lot of people have requested this and you know, this will kind of help out the community here. So check that out. So what I have in front of me, once again, is Obscurium, which is by Sugar Bites. It's one of the things that I had uh, purchased last year around like July, I believe. And it was one of those VSTs that was what I would consider a game changer. So, you know, um, when you open up initially or whatever and you're on default, you know, you won't hear any sound. So, if you know, if you're just trying to select a, a preset or whatever, so I'm just going to select this. Sound will come in. So, don't worry about that. Uh, I know that's like one of the things with the older with the older releases or whatever. They said, they said that there's a newer version. I have not downloaded it and I will soon. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and initial it. Initial a patch, which is going to make it sound like this. Which, if if you're here to play, I'm playing CEG, which is just your basic major scale fifth, I believe. No, major fifth. So, you know, and that is, it comes in the factor here where you see zero to 12, and I'm on pitch. So, once again, I selected pitch. You know, if you select that, it'll sort of look like that. So, you select this, it'll look like this. So, it says zero to 12. There's 12 keys in the octave, you know. And if I was to go any further, you know, and show you uh, on this by this with NFL Studio. C, C, C5, C6, C7, etc. That is what that it, that means basically. So, going back to Obscurium, you see this, and you'll see that it's set a little not on point. So you have to just draw that down, and then you, you get your your perfect major, which is also de determined by this. If you select MIDI only, you can hear that it is now on on deck. You can just deselect that. And then you can go and just deal with the scales. Now there is straight chords here, and there's different chords. There's four different chords: 54 chords, funny chords, straight chords, and spreading. So you re really just want to be on straight chords because that will that will help and benefit you. And you also can drop the octave and detune it a little bit and set that legato glide that people like <clears throat> within this tab. Um, another thing, helpful thing about Obscurium is it, unlike a lot of VSTs, you can actually select this right here, and it will tell you what each individual part does. So, you know, you can actually just set that on and it'll tell you everything that you need to know that you will want to know about this plugin. <clears throat> and there's other things about it too as well as I am not fully there and you can uh, just detach it and in NFL Studio or in other dolls, it won't, it won't be as strenuous to see because other dolls have bigger interfaces or whatever or GUIs or GUIs, UIs or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> So, anyways, you know, getting into making a sound. You know, there's different things that you that you can do to, uh, to make a sound pop. So, you know, regular things you could do, you could set the an the analog oscillator, and you know, if you the more the more you set it, it will sound like this. And, you know, or you can go into your FM oscillator, and and you know, it will be predetermined by how much FM or FM one or two or FM. X that you have. <clears throat> you can select, you know, you know, your parallel or serial. And they all sound different and you can just slide in the ratio. And then pan spread. Or whatever. So you know you can just kind of dial in the sound. <clears throat> and it you can actually deselect the harmonic. If you want that, <clears throat> but there's other things that you you want to kind of predetermine. These dots right here, they represent, you know, if I was to do this many dots here, this many dots there, this many dots there, you will see a difference. So that that's pretty much the retriggering right here. So that's a retrigger group. So the more uh, dots that you have available or on, <clears throat> that means that where it play. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and whatnot. Now there's another cool feature right here is the pigeation and you can actually set and draw the pigeation. And you can actually use these draw tools here. You have a pen tool, you have a ruler, a brush, and then kind of like a, a LFO type way of drawing. You, all these do different things. You can actually adjust them as well. Like you can have all the pins drop to where you can address how many you deal with at one time to if you wanna just uh, drop all of them at once. So. You know, that, keep that in mind there when you're actually using Obscurium. So, 
we have that here and I have people like on my roof because they're doing gutter guttering stuff. Say that I really want that and I really like that. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it there. And then, then there's different kinds of modulation that you can actually draw in as well. So that's, that's what that means. The MOD is modulation. So what is the modulation? Uh, not much yet. <clears throat> now, I already talked about pitch. I'm just going to keep it at C because I don't want it going everywhere. Now, you can actually set different chords in here uh, to where you want them to be. So let's see. We just want to have it right here. Kind of like some old Atari video game type stuff here. So we're, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust the ARP envelope, which, you know, adjusts adjust the pigeation. The more you have it in, it works just like regular ASD, ADSR. Um, and there's two other factors here. But one of the things I want to point out here is the, pol the amount of poly that you have in here. Because it could be monopoly or just poly. And which means the amount of voices that are let through. So if you have it as low as this, it's not gonna uh, play the chords as <clears throat> huge. As you can see, it's only playing one chord. So if you actually, the more you increase that, the more chords it's gonna be. You see there, it has up to up to eight chords. So that's what that means: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. Now, one thing I do not like here, and it, I don't know where it's at, so don't worry, it's the noise. The noise is, you hear that, if you, if I play it, you hear that little, that crap annoys the heck out of me. So I'm just going to bring that down. And yeah, so bringing that down is going to make it like this. Now, it sounds like something is missing, right? Now, and, and what I would like to do is kind of make it more ambient. And how I would do that with, is adding some reverb. So I'm going to see how much reverb will. You know, and then perhaps just add a little bit of chorus. Uh, now, perhaps I do not want it to play that fast <clears throat> you can adjust that here in the clock tab where you can adjust the speed of it and it's in notes so you know you have a whole note half note quarter notes and all that stuff and you know <laughs> and now, now it's playing a little slower you actually can go into obscure clock here and kind of dial in and you actually hear that it has changed the clock speed. Which may or may not appease to you and you actually can change the direction too because you don't necessarily have it have to go forward, you actually go have it go backwards. So all that comes in handy, but what I really want to do is change something. I do not like the scale. Now there are tons of different scales in here. Now per, per se, I want something more darker. I'll probably go for whatever that is, <laughs> which I can't pronounce it right now because I don't want to sound like a jackass. So <laughs> But this chord, these chords, as you have noticed, they, they sound a little bit more darker. And that is much more what style of music that I'm into. Now, I, I rather I rather my my chords sound dark versus sounding all happy, go lucky, whatever, or spacey. Now, you can experiment with different chords. Now you want, perhaps you like that different, that one chord that you're pl playing on there, which I'm just, you know, just playing like C, E, F, G. So, so I'm playing G <laughs> on the chord, which is the major G. So, well, the G, uh, G and not G sharp. It's not like that. So, you know, I like that. Now I'm going to make some other adjustments just, just per se and just adjust with uh, messing with the routing of the FM.
Now, how about I mess with the the, uh, the FMX real quick and just see how it'll go. Just gonna mess. As you can see, it kind of adds a little little different elements here. Okay, I'm gonna kind of adjust some of this. Mess with F if you wanna. Hmm, I actually like that patch now. Uh, and you go, you could just continue to mess with like resonance and stuff like that to see, you know, experience. Yeah, and, and there's other things that you could do. You can actually morph in between and stuff like that. But I, I, I'll leave you to go to the the overview and see see that. But I just wanted to get people in there, just get, get you started <clears throat> on Obscurium and making sounds. So now that you like the patch that you have created or whatnot, how would you do it? Now, how would you save it? Now, you can save it right here. Just go to Save Preset. I'm going to type in Dark Man. Hmm. Dark Man comes up now. Now you will find them under the user presets. So you have Dark Man there, and I have like one of my some of my favorites that I have saved there <clears throat> from Muscaria. <clears throat> and and you already have like a bass melody to your track, and you can go and just lay drums to it. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any uh, questions and comments or whatever, please leave a comment or whatnot. <clears throat> oh, by the way. Um, and just real quick, because I want to cover that again, because I know everybody will want to go and see it. If you want to access and, you know, perhaps you like that, but you don't like this. Uh, one thing you can do is you can pull your own VSTs that you already own already and within Skyrim. So, you know, you will go from the sound tab, go to plug in. And, you know, if you have to set the plug in or whatever, you just set or scan or re not rescan, but. You know, select a VST path and then scan. It'll uh, start automatically scanning. Then you have all your VSTs and stuff in there. So perhaps I just want to use mini bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and select mini bit. And mini bit is in there. So you just hit that little mixer, little tab there or button thingy, and then you have mini bit in there. pretty much how you do it one thing you have to keep in mind is if you do pull up a vst in which in this in the further in the next update they will make it to where <clears throat> your vst will well your vst will stay <clears throat> but yeah make sure that you um, remind yourself or remember what patch that you use because it will not save that particular patch <clears throat> in this in the 1.03 uh i believe it's in the next one that that, that they actually fixed that so yeah that's about it. I just want to do a quick tip video. I'm going to do another video where I actually go into the other features a little bit more uh, harsh. I like the morphing in this area right here where you're doing the parameter morphing as well because that brings even bigger elements to your track. <clears throat> so, yes. I'm DJ McCree and I appreciate you for your time and I'm out.